Hey, what's up guys? Dave here from CNC 3D. So today we're going to be going through our segment of R&D Fridays, which has been really, really popular for us, where we share with you some of the cool things that we're working on every Friday. So at the moment, we're just here in the source code for our commander software, and we're going to be talking about a new tool that I've been working on for the last couple of weeks. So let's just go ahead and run this now. So normally this would load Commander, but we've just got it to work on our new 2D toolpath program that we've been working on. So basically it's an editor that will allow you to create jobs, uh, specifically 2D jobs. So you can choose between laser or plasma or pen slash knife plotting. Um, so you can basically add in the options in here and basically go through and run things so you can choose what type it's for now this is basically your creation canvas so if we hold the control key we can obviously zoom in and out um, you do have the grid option here you can choose to disable the grid if you want to or re-enable it you've got some basic shape tools on the side here like your pointer we've got our rectangle and we've also got like an ellipse you can just do a line or you can choose to do like a drawing um, or you can choose to do like an actual shape with some points. So let's just go ahead here and give it a try. So we can obviously choose to add like a square onto our canvas here. And if you have a look on the right hand side here, you've got your standard buttons for you to be able to position this shape at a particular point and obviously adjust its size as well. So say for example here, we're gonna choose the bottom left location. If we wanted to position this at 100, 100, and we wanted to adjust the size of this to say exactly 100 by 100, then we can just hit update and that will perfectly adjust the positioning of the shape for you. Now, if you want to, you can choose to obviously use these little pull tabs on here just to get custom shapes. But if you want to dial things in, you can definitely do that. We can do the same thing with, with an ellipse here as well. So we'll make this in here. Let's just make it 100 by 100. And we can just make this here to say, let's go 300 by 200 and we'll hit update and it's perfectly positioned that shape for us. So this is basically a tool that we're working on to make things easy. So we can also obviously choose to say, for example, just do like a pen draw. And obviously once we do this drawing, we can choose to drag these points wherever we'd like. So if you wanted to adjust a shape, you can do that. If you don't want to shape anymore, you can just hit the delete key and that will remove it off the canvas. Now this little line tool here, this is pretty handy. So if we left click, it'll make a point if we left click again. And basically it will create whatever sort of shape or pattern you want. When you're done with the shape you're doing, you just have to right click and that will actually complete that shape. And then you can actually drag these to wherever you'd like them to be in order to create the shape that you're looking for. Now, if you wanted to remove or add any of these tabs, you can definitely do that. If we hold the control key while we're on the line, we can add a new point in there and then you can now drag this one. And if you hover over one of these and press the alt key, you can remove these as well too. And obviously you can drag this shape around wherever you'd like it to go. So we don't really need this shape here right now. So let's just hit delete on here. And then basically we can adjust these and position these wherever we'd like. So just to really test the output on here, we're going to leave everything pretty much as it is. We're going to choose this to be a plasma job. So we're going to leave the default settings on here of a safe Z height of one millimeter. So that's basically where it's going to lift up to travel to the next point. And then obviously you've got your basic settings like your pierce time. So this has been specifically set up for users that don't have a torch height controller that manages its own pierce time. So you can actually add a dwell in there for it to be able to um, light the arc, patiently wait until it, it, it actually goes all the way through the material and then it will resume with the job. So, and obviously you've got your pen knife settings as well, but we're just gonna do a plasma job here. Now we can choose our feed rate. We're just going to leave it at a thousand for this. Then we can go export and we're just going to save it in here as test file and then hit save. So now your G code has been created successfully. Let's just flick over here to our easel window and we're just going to go here into import G code just to take a look and see whether or not it is accurate enough or not. So we've got our test file here. Let's just load that in. 
And that is looking pretty good right on that 100 line, exactly what we asked it to be. And there's our circle here at 200. So that is definitely correct on the output side. So we're definitely well on our way to having a really good solution for us to be able to um, obviously allow you guys to create some awesome projects with your laser engraver or your plasma cutter or your pen plotter. Um, but let's take a look at some of the other features that I have been working on uh, this, this, this weekend specifically. So I'll select these shapes and just delete them. Um, but let's go to the import function and take a look. So as you can see, we've got SVG files as an option. So it will import native SVG files. Now you can choose to import as many of these as you would actually like onto here. So if we go to import again, we can choose another one and it will double up the imports on here. So as you can see, it's just loaded it in there twice. Um, we can just go through and delete these shapes. And one of the cool things that I have been working on is if we go to import, we can actually go to image files. And as you can see, we've got this little Snorlax JPEG file in here. So this is actually a, a pixel based image. It's not an SVG file. So um, I have managed to figure out how to get it. So you can basically um, have some smoothing options as you try to go through. So if we have a play with some of these settings, as you can see, it's slowly changing our image there. Um, and obviously we've got our line threshold. If we make this 10, you can see it's not looking good. Obviously you can zoom in and zoom out on this image on here to get the right size for you. Now the line threshold, we can do 0.1, it'll be very, very crisp. So if we go import, and this is the point that I'm at now. So as you can see, it doesn't look quite right, but when we select it, we can pretty much make it out. So I'm very close to figuring out how to actually uh, get this to fully import and vectorize. Um, obviously we can drag these points out if we actually zoom in, so we'll just hold control. We can zoom in there and you can see all of our points and shapes. So I'm very close to working this part out right now. And um, hopefully very soon we're going to have an awesome tool which will be available for free within our Commander software. Um, and basically will be a handy tool for you guys to get productive very, very quickly. So I hope this has been a fun and exciting video for you guys. And I wish you all a fantastic Friday and a great weekend to come. Thank you.